Methane is a potent greenhouse gas. It's more potent than CO2 at trapping heat in the atmosphere. Methane emissions from beef cattle in the U.S., they're roughly about 2% of U.S. greenhouse gas emissions. How do we mitigate the climate impacts of cattle production? Based on all evidence, people are probably going to continue to eat beef, right? Let's get to work on doing what we can to reduce emissions from all these different components. Agnex was developed to solve the most wicked challenges in partnership with the supply chain. To think about a new future and a new way that animal agriculture has to persist under different conditions, both climate and political and emotional. In the United States, we do have a very efficient beef production system. That's also, we're not perfect, right? And that's why we're doing this research. Hopefully folks feel rest assured that there are people actually working on this to make sure whether we're talking about beef or any other aspect of the food on your plate, we're trying to make sure that whatever that mix is on your plate, whatever your food choices are, that it's hopefully more sustainable as we keep going into the future. But basically what happens with the green feed machine is an animal will come up while they're there the air is being collected up through this tube. And based on that and the airflow rate, we can calculate an emission rate every time the animal visits to the machine. That's what we're trying to do is to set up that team to be able to test future tech, not just in its applicability to improving, you know, environmental implications of beef and dairy production systems, but also assessing barriers to adoption. Every food, not just every food, everything we do has an impact, an environmental impact on the planet. We have all got to reduce that. We've got to reduce it in every form of food production that we have. We've got to reduce it in everything we do as humans on this planet.